Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. And that's good news. I do treat you as a resident <laughs> Disney um, expert on certain things, especially taste with these live action oh, movies, but you've enjoyed them for the I most do. part. I do. I love them. Yeah. I think that Beauty and the Beast was just phenomenal. That one set the bar pretty high. Oh my goodness. That one goodness. set the bar You're pretty right. high. Yeah. You're right. It really did. And so they're going to have to do very, but Will Smith? Ah, yeah, that's a he, slam he doesn't miss dunk. Much. He's so yeah, good. That's fair. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, I have to show you some video. This was taken earlier. Our producer brought this in and she was telling me about the lightning she saw just off the bridge as she was driving around. And what we are looking at, of course, is some of this lightning that we did see in association with the, some of the showers that were very widely scattered across the region. And so it was pretty impressive as you were driving around and especially with the dark skies behind you. But for the most part, all of that wet weather has now moved out into the Gulf of Mexico. And right now we're looking at what we experienced throughout the day because we did not have an awful lot of rain and very few clouds around. Our temperatures soared right up into the 90s. 91 was our daytime high, the overnight low of 76 degrees. Normally, we're just slightly cooler than that, and you can see that it was much hotter back on this date in 1995. 97 degrees on that day. That's a hot day. 79 degrees for us right now. Partly cloudy skies. Dew point humidity levels are high. Winds are calm. They're coming in out of the northeast at around three miles per hour. And we now are seeing the exodus of all of this rainfall. So we did have some showers that came on through throughout the evening hours. Again, very widely scattered, all of them taking place in the interior sections and then moving over to the coastline. That's what they did throughout the nighttime hours. And this is what it looks like. We're just left with some cloudiness right now for the most part. And all of these showers, some of the heavier ones right here along the western sections of Charlotte County moving up around just to the South Venice area. But all of that now has moved on out into the Gulf and we're just left with a couple of meandering showers and that's about it. And those will be on their way out very soon. And for the rest of the night, just keep in mind that we're only looking at about a 10% chance of rain, and we're going to keep those rain chances low for a large portion of the overnight time period, and then we keep them low throughout the early morning and down to 0% at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And the reason for all of this is this drier level of air that has moved in over the state. And so it's been coming in from the east and it's moving across central Florida. It's affecting our region. And so as a result of that, we just haven't seen a whole lot in the way of rainfall. Now tomorrow we're gonna pick up with a couple of showers around once again. During the afternoon hours, things start to get a little bit more widespread but they're going to be moving out into the Gulf pretty much as what we are experiencing today. We're going to see that again tomorrow. Across the nation, what we've got are a couple of troughs that are going to be moving over, and so they'll be moving across the state, and that's going to help to bring in some moisture, especially down to the south. And of course, now we've got the drier air moving on in. That means the low chances of rain will take place for not only today, but also tomorrow, and it's going to be very very hot. Take a look. This is what it looks like over the next several days. Temperatures in the low 90s each and every day.